thanks for checking out another installment of the Dakota Project. In this segment, Pappy Son puts in new brake lines. He used to work at a brake and muffler shop for a couple of years, and he became proficient at replacing brake lines. Watch him make a new brake line with a double flare on one end and a bubble flare on the other end, all in less than two minutes. Check it out! Double flare. And you have a bubble flare. With this Dakota project, you'll see a lot of work being done, and sometimes it's outside late at night. prettiest in the world, but it's functional. Close in on that. Won't be using this one. And you can see it's not going to chafe on the U-joints. Right. Not going. Concern would be. It's not going to rub on anything. Yeah, I wouldn't even use that clip there. Let's some sort of a clip down there, but hell with it. Well, I gotta get a sharp bend here. I need a bender, otherwise I'm gonna kink it. Right. Can you ask me how I know? You've done that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Just gotta tighten them up. Let's go make the other line. And here's another brake line connection being done on the other side.
kind of a weak one. And dip flare it a little more. This is how you double flare this one. Oh. That one is a bubble flare. This one is a double. Oh, okay. Stupid, I know. I was messing up the terminology. Bubble double. <laughs> one looks like a bubble, and the other one you have to make a double a bubble flare before you can flare it again. I've made double flares by using just flaring it once. Yeah. Um, but it's tricky. I've used this tool to do it, and I just don't think it creates a satisfactory you move result. It. Give that material a chance to move two, t two times instead of all at once. Well, it's going to have to be screwed in with the wrench. Sure. My fingers aren't strong enough. Okay, there's the new brake lines. Thank you for corner stopping on the Dakota Project. And remember, do something nice for someone today. Peace!